Okay, it's been a couple of months since we had an update. I didn't realize it had been that long. And, um, but uh, there has been uh, some real setbacks and I wanted to bring you guys up to speed on it. If you follow these restoration projects like I do, you definitely want to stay in the loop as to where, what the progress is, and especially if there's any prob problems. And I have had a ton of problems. And um, I don't want to be, uh, try to pull the wool over anybody's eyes or anything. I've talked about this before, that this is my first project, and so I've made a lot of mistakes, and I've had to eat them. So uh, what we're finding out is we had a lot more brake leaks than what we thought and it has been a real bear to, uh, to fix them. You remember the front uh, driver's side, we had a leak and uh, that wasn't too bad. That was just a simple matter of replacing the crush washers. Apparently I put them on there uh, improperly. So we fixed that and we had a leak at the master cylinder, same line. So that line had to be remade. Then we had a leak, and really what this is all about, all these leaks, is bad flares. Uh, we had a leak back here. Let's see if I can get some light on it. That line there, that had a bad flare. I had to remake that. And then we had multiple leaks at, the, uh, at that failure switch. And I can't get enough light in there for you. But you, you should know from previous videos what I'm talking about. Both lines that run from the master cylinder over to that failure switch had to be remade. And also the line that goes from the failure switch to the other, uh, the passenger side caliper, had to be remade and reflared. And it was basically that these flares on this uh, switch are not just a standard beveled flare like on, on American cars they're a double flare and I didn't have a double flare tool I didn't know that at the time so I just made a single flare and that won't work they leaked every time so I've had to remake almost every line because of the flaring issues so if you've never done that before, and I have flared brake lines in the past and not had a problem, but this one has been a bear. If you can see what I did here, so to make it easier to access this master cylinder, I went ahead and took my rivets out and pushed this battery tray over. I'll, I'll move it back and re-secure it, but there was no getting your hands or anything in there uh, to get that done. The other uh, thing that I did was over here where this failure switch goes, as you can see, uh, you couldn't even tell where you were working. So I drilled a hole in that, uh, in that top panel there, and then I have a, uh, a grommet that will fit into that hole, and that will cover it up. But that allowed me to put a flashlight into it and to be able to sight down it and see it easier. And uh, so that was my answer to that. Now, we got all the... Lines are filled, they're all bled, there's no leaks, okay? But we have an issue with the front caliper. The other two sides, the passenger side, uh, both the drum and the uh, front wheel turn freely when the brake pedal is not off, it's, it's, all, it's off. And then they lock like they're supposed to when the pedal is depressed. But on the driver's side, they both, uh, this one is just completely won't move at all. And uh, the drum in the rear will move, but it takes quite a bit of effort. It doesn't spin free like the other. Now, uh, maybe you guys have had some experience with this or not. Maybe they've just been on the car for a while. It's all rebuilt. They're all new. Maybe it's just that uh, they're, the caliper is sticking because it's been setting so long. My sons seem to think that. They seem to think that once the car's on its wheels again and you roll it a little bit and kind of, it'll, it'll, it'll be all right. I'm not so sure. Or if I'm gonna have to pull that caliper off and find out, you know, did I do something wrong? Anyway, if you guys have got some experience with that, got an opinion, let me know in the comments. Um, I certainly don't wanna just, you know, cross my fingers, so to speak. 
But on the other hand, it does make sense because they have been on there a long time, dry, with no fluid in them. Perhaps that's all it is. But uh, the other issue we had was uh, the brake pedal assembly. This is really getting to be a habit. But we had to take it back out of the car. And the reason why was the uh, brake light switch was not threaded in far enough to make contact with the pedal. And it has to activate that switch. And there's no room in there. You couldn't get anything on it to turn it. So we had no choice but to take it back out and run that back down to the proper length. So it, fortunately that doesn't involve uh, bleeding anything. The, the master cylinder is sealed so uh, it comes off without having to really affect the brakes. And it, it really wasn't that hard. There's uh, just a few bolts that hold it in or whatever. But still, once again, had to go back and eat that biscuit twice. Also now, there's another issue here. If you can see, there is a switch on the clutch pedal. Now when I was taking this off and everything, I assumed that that was a, like a neutral start safety switch so that you can't start the car in, 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 in gear. But I've done some uh, investigating. I can't find anything on the 850 that talks about there being a neutral start on the car. And according to the wire diagram that I have for it, that is a switch that goes to the, uh, the electro, um, electro valve for the pollution control, which if you have one of these, now I think the European cars don't have these but it's this this jack piece of nonsense here now why in the world that would be attached to the clutch pedal I don't know but according to the wiring diagram it is so if anybody has experience with that and knows what the story is I'd appreciate cluing me in on that as well so that has been what has been going on uh, boys and girls we have just been fighting the brakes and uh, they're important, so we got to get that right. So I guess I'll leave it with that because there really hasn't been much else that's gone on. Like I said, I apologize for the, the length, but uh, there's been other things that I've had to deal with that I couldn't avoid that's also, you know, taking my time. So um, that's kind of where we are. Uh, like I said, I appreciate subscribing and liking and let me know what you think. If you have any suggestions, I'm, as always, I'm always I'm open to it. I just I'm not going to just show you that I did it, and oh, the next video we just moved on, and everything worked out. For, no, if I screw up, I'm going to show you, and that way, hopefully, you know, it'll help somebody else that's doing one of these. So, anyway, have a good one. Uh, stay cool. See you next time.